Right then, YouTube, as you know, I had the radiator repaired for this free ride, and this is what they used. They used like a, a proxy. Now, that was, a, I would imagine, a liquid proxy because uh, the, the one I had wouldn't have flowed in as nice as that. So, it looks like a good job. They painted the radiator. What the hell they painted the radiator for? I just don't know. It was practically brand new. Um, I'd like to show you this bit up here. See where it's worn? Um, a groove into the top mountain that must have been banging like shit so I think we'll put a little, little bit of liquid metal in there now to to fill that all back in because that is definitely not normal and the grommets now these grommets have took days to get unbelievable now oh, they are a bit tight I think yeah, that should probably be all right. Now we got two different sizes, yeah. We got this one. Oh, that is the bigger one. No, it's not. Here's the bigger one. Obviously, no good. And the little ones, which is this one and this one. So these here off KTM are really cheap. When I say cheap, they're 40, 45 pence. Uh, I've been to every electrical shop. Screw fix. I've been to Halfords. I've been absolutely everywhere trying to get these stupid little rubber grommets to get the bike back together. Uh, and finally, my father managed to find some at his mate's house. So I'm gonna put the bike back together now. I'll video it for you. I'd probably speed it up because it'll probably take ages because it is a fiddly little job. And uh, let's get cracking. So liquid metal is uh, really good stuff, but you've got to make sure that whatever job you're doing, it's got to be really clean. So you can see this bloody this stupid little thing by that, so just cleaning it up. I should do the job. Now the other thing with this as well is uh, obviously we don't want to make the diameter bigger so I just put a bit of liquid metal in here and then clean him off flush. Well when I say liquid metal, putty metal. This is the putty shit. Putty shit. <laughs> So there's the grommets, there's one there, so we're going to replace that one first. So we'll see if we can get the camera in place. I don't want to drop the camera, but anyway, I'm just going to take that out there fit a new one and the same the other side and the other side to that so there's the new rubber in there as you can see it's obviously a lot thicker and that should stop it from bloody vibrating so this one's done by you now now the next one is up under there now that's the one that wore the hole or the the slit in the top of the radiator so we'll uh, that one's gonna be a bit awkward to get in but we're gonna have a crack at that now so I just pushed the radiator in from this side and I'm now going to connect this water pipe up first and then put the uh, the grommets into place second and um, then we'll fit the radiator cover on. The radiator is now fitted, I'm just checking for leaks and then the pressure build up again. Wait for the fan to cut in and then check it all back on. This rubber was a little bit of a pain, but as you can see, it's absolutely solid. So I might have to grind a couple of grooves off the, um, the vents down there, but we'll wait and see. Right, this is the part here that rubbed through. Um, obviously, it was loose and it was chattering away, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to give this a clean up now and I'm going to stick some sponge across it 
uh, because it's all solid now I can't see it rattling so there's no point cutting any off um, I'm just gonna put some rubber on it and here it is here it's like a it's like a foam that I'm gonna stick across here should sort it out right he's all back together now it's no leaks now I gotta bleed the brakes because the brakes are rubbish and for some reason it keeps getting a bit of air into the cylinder I don't know why so a little bit more maintenance on it now and I'm ready to ride <laughs> 